You know, everyone has their own way of decorating at Christmas time, from simple and subdued to giant and gaudy. Well, Tammy Arinder met a Nashville couple who love those old Department 56 houses so much they had to build a new house to hold all the little houses. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Cause no matter how far away you roam. We have some friends that were collecting them and they invited us over one night to take a tour of their home. And uh, I don't eat the bug bit me. Rebecca Baylor was bitten by the Department 56 bug. You know, these little lighted houses that stir up images of Christmas past. Well, the houses were so unique. Everything was so detailed on them. I don't know, they just fascinated me. It all started with this little church in 1993, but having no place to display it, it sat in the closet that year. But the next year and the couple of years after that, the planning and preparing for a spectacular display began. The last count I had a 520 lit houses. That's not including cars, people, trees, and all that. You can put some more snow on? Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit heavier. We had a big snowstorm. Rebecca's husband, John, is an integral part of the Department 56 arrangement. Not only does he help with the snow, but he has the daunting task of making sure all the houses are lit and all the wires are hidden. He gives us a look at the ugly side of the display, something few people ever see. Hmm, I'm not sure, but is this what is meant by getting your wires crossed? Uh, she, she gets these all out and she sets them uh, around uh, in the room and and she has the barns here and the, the houses here and the businesses here and and she tries to set it up the way she wants it and, and after she gets it set up some some of these have adapters to them and I try to w wire them up with 20 lights to a string sometimes she'll get one that's got an adapter in there and I just don't know what to do with that extra light so I said, well, can we move it somewhere else? And she, well, okay, we'll, we'll move it somewhere else. He has to crawl around under the tables and on his knees all the time trying to get them all lit up, and it's lots of trouble. And the trouble begins well before Christmas. John and Rebecca start setting up their storybook scene in the summer with hundreds of houses and even more tiny accessories like skaters, a flying Santa, or horse-drawn carriages. The setup time can take nearly four months. Then, except for one room, it's all put away till the 1st of February. So how long does it take you to take everything down and put it up? Not near as long as it does to put it up. <laughs> I mean, you pick up a house, you blow the snow all off of it, and put it in the, in the box and, and uh, set it aside. And storage is a problem for it, too. We, we have one room, a bedroom upstairs, that we do not furnish. It's all storage room for these houses. It was such a problem, the Baylors had to buy another house just to house the houses. After I bought the North Pole, I did not have a place to display them. And so we bought another house. We outgrew the house we were in. <laughs> we started looking and looking and looking, and we found this house, and it just suited, suited her fancy. And could you vision the, no, the, not no. all this. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, when you walk through the house now and you see all this, what goes through your mind? She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't even finished looking at all of the Christmas Department 56, but I've got to show you the guest bedroom. This is where Rebecca and John have started their Halloween collection. She already has 30 of these houses, plans to buy more. We, we kind of liked the Halloween as it came out, and we just uh, bought, the, bought them as, as they come out. And uh, like I say, they're, they're all detailed. They got spooky sounds to them. And... But the sounds of Christmas are what's ringing throughout the house now. When you ask Rebecca to pick her favorite, she says that's pretty difficult. 
One she's really taken a shining to, though, is Shelley's Diner, with its lighted sign and lovebirds sipping a soft drink. I don't know. Every year, I, can't, I think one of them is my favorite. You know, they just they change as the new ones come out. Myself, I like the Tennessee connections with Elvis's Graceland, complete with the pink Cadillac, or the Ryman Auditorium, the original Grand Ole Opry. And you can't help but love the Ronald McDonald House or Habitat for Humanity because a portion of their purchase price goes to that charity. Now John, he likes the Ford dealership since he retired from Nashville's Ford glass plant. And each one of these are hand painted and it goes through a, a big uh, uh, process in order to, to get it all done. The little elves are not on your right. They're, they're kind of crooked. Their legs are bent. They're, they're not, on the, not on, the right. on the steps. Mm. Yes, they do also have Christmas trees. Not just one, but four. Uh, no, make that five. But the trees are somewhat overshadowed by the colossal collection of Department 56. But Rebecca and John wouldn't have it any other way. It's their way of saying warmest wishes from their house, or houses, to your house this holiday season.